Hey guys, welcome to Let's Learn C++ Lesson 2.2. Today we're going to learn about um, the do while loop. Well, I can't type with crap. Filming Lesson 2.2. So, without further ado, let us begin. As you can see, before we start, I now have a Twitter account. So, if you would like to stay updated on what's going on with me and um, whatever I care about in the technological world, then you would likely like to follow me on Twitter, and I will keep updating whenever I can. So, let's get started with this lesson. So, in the last lesson we learned about while loops. Well, now we're going to learn about do while loops. A do while loop is essentially the same thing as a while loop with one stipulation. Now, a while loop, if you remember, it had the condition at the, at the top of the loop, and then it had all the code in, in, uh, right after the condition. Well, the do while loop says do, and then it has the code that it's going to execute, and then the condition comes at the end. Now, you might ask what the significance of this is. Well, if you look at how it's progressing through the program, if you're looking at a while loop, it checks the condition, and if it's true, it executes the code. Whereas with a do while loop, it automatically executes it at least once, and then it checks the condition to see if it does it again. So the while loop has the possibility of not executing, whereas the do while loop has the possibility of executing at least once, or sorry, it, it always executes at least once, and then it has the possibility of executing more. It just depends on what your condition is. So, let's see what this is actually going to do in our program. Let's hit F5, run this baby. Okay, I forgot to pause it. Hang on a sec. Let's run this baby again. Okay, so you can see it just displayed this will display ten times a lot, just like it did last time in the last lesson I did. Well, let's see how many times it actually displayed. Or sorry, actually, let's go ahead and take care of the next step. And keep track of what the value of, of x is while it's doing this. So x is equal to 0 on the first time it displays. So 0, and then it increments by 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have that uh, x is equal to 8 after it uh, does the, the last one. So then it increments to 9. And x is no longer less than 9 because it's equal to. So that's where it stops with that. Now. Let's. What happens when we automatically? Let, let, let's make the condition untrue. Let's say x is equal to 10, and we know that 10 is not less than 9. So if we run this, the condition is going to be false, and it shouldn't display anything, right? Well, let's have a look, shall we? You can see that it displays it one time. It goes through. It does the code, hence the word do. It does this no matter what, at least once then checks the condition to see if it's supposed to do it again. And if it doesn't do it again, then it continues on to the next line, which is cn.get, and it breaks the loop. That should be pretty easy to understand, and you can make the condition anything that can be uh, evaluated to false or true, just like last time. So let's say x is greater than or equal to 9 plus 1. Make it a little more complicated here. And then we'll run this baby. Forgot to close this one. <laughs> F5. So as you can see, it displays one time because now x is equal to 10. x is indeed less than or equal to 9 plus 1, which is 10. So as you can see, inside the condition, you can evaluate math inside of the condition. 
you can do pretty much anything you want inside a condition as long as it can be equa equated to zero or one or true or false. So, um, that's all I have for you for this lesson. This was a really quick lesson. I'm at five minutes, 25 seconds. So, the next lesson I'm going to teach you about the last form of loop called an or loop, which is indeed the most useful loop in my opinion. It's the most difficult to understand, uh, but it is the most useful. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, and thanks for watching. See you later.